Hi, I am Dr. Sakya Mansoor and I am speaking from my channel Learning Anatomy. And uh, today I will discuss with you the anatomy of the hypothalamus, which is the start of the four video lectures. And uh, first of all, I will discuss today the introduction and uh, the boundaries and the regions and nuclei of the hypothalamus. So this is the layout of the hypothalamus. Here it lies. This is the hypothalamus. This semen laser. Yes, red laser. And uh, so you see, this is the sulcus, sulcus. This is the hypothalamic sulcus. You can see the labeling, hypothalamic sulcus. Here it is, this is. And this is the thalamus. And this is the hypothalamus. Hypo means below. So hypothalamus lies below the thalamus, right? So part of the diencephalon. So this is the layout. And uh, as I will tell you, these are the first, my lecture would be on these. Uh, this topic, the I mean uh, this boundaries, etc., and second would be the discussion of the connections and the major fiber pathways associated with the hypothalamus, and a description of what they connect, and then the function of the hypothalamus, and then the last clinical aspects of the hypothalamus will be discussed. So first of all, you know this is the first lecture, so telling you the introduction, the hypothalamus. But it is a part of the diencephalon. I told you already in some of my previous lectures, diencephalon is derived, derived from the prosencephalon. Prosencephalon is the primary brain vesicle from which the two secondary vesicles develop, which are the telencephalon and the diencephalon. And the diencephalon gives rise to hypothalamus, thalamus, epithalamus, and the metathalamus, right? So this is the thing. and. Uh, uh, this is uh, the uh, situation uh, of the hypothalamus. It lies within the floor and the ventral part of the walls of the third ventricle. It consists of only 4 cubic centimeters of the neural tissue or 0.3% of the total brain. So you see this is how little this uh, size is, but the impact is too much, right? So functions primarily in the maintenance of homeostasis. I will tell you the definition of homeostasis to maintain the I mean, uh, internal milieu of the body. It subserves three systems, the autonomic nervous system, the endocrine system, and the limbic system. The three main system are subserved by the hypothalamus. So here is the extent and the boundaries of the hypothalamus, right? It is visible only from the inferior aspect of the brain. And uh, here you could see this. This is the anterior boundary. This is, um, this, you see these arrows, optic chiasma, right? This is, this is the hypothalamus. And uh, here you could see this. This is the you know, optic chiasma, this is a large picture, and this is the hypothalamus, below this hypothalamic sulcus, and the anterior boundary is this, our anterior, this, this sorry, this optic chiasma, and posteriorly it extends up till this mammillary body, right, the cardinal aspect of the mammillary bodies. So, we have to see the preoptic area. What is that? Interior to the hypothalamus is an area contained in the hypothalamus called preoptic area because it extends forward from the optic chiasma to the lamina terminalis and the anterior commissure. So let's see. Here would be lying this area. This is, you know, this is the lamina terminalis and this is the anterior commissure. This is the anterior commissure. And uh, this is the lamina terminalis, right? So up till this area is the extension of the hypothalamus. And this area is called as the preoptic area included in the hypothalamus. So what happens caudal to the, um, in this hypothalamus? This is its blending of the hypothalamus with the, our this, uh, you know, see tegmentum of the midbrain. This is the midbrain, right? This is the tegmentum. So when viewed from below, the hypothalamus is seen to be related to the following structures from interior to posterior. Of course, uh, it, it is um, visible only from inferior aspect, this hypothalamus, otherwise it is concealed. So from anterior, this is interior, this is posterior. And these structures, you know, uh, are related with this hypothalamus. 
from this inferior view this is the optic chiasma this is optic chiasma then this tubercinarium and infundibulum and in the last these are the mammillary bodies right so hypothalamus maintains body homeostasis through the autonomic nervous system and the neuroendocrine system and to play a vital role in emotional behavior it links the nervous system with the endocrine system via the pituitary gland so homeostasis is a self regulating process by which we tend to maintain stability while adjusting to conditions that are best for its survival for example maintaining an optimum temperature glucose level and blood pressure you know these are always uh, the same the maintain same through the mechanism of all these three connections the system which is observed by the hypothalamus as you told already and again in this slide so nuclei very important hypothalamic nuclei their role their function function will be discussed in a separate lecture the next one so nuclei of the hypothalamus are divided by an imaginary parasagittal plane into medial and lateral zones so placed within the plane are the columns of the fornix and the mammalothalamic tract which act as markers right so let's see this column of the fornix where it is and this is the parasagittal line so let's try to identify that we'll do it successfully you know so this is the fornix and here we were drawn the imaginary line to divide the medial and the lateral uh, nuclei these are the medial side of the um in, uh, in this uh, division of the nuclei this is the medial aspect and you can see as the fornix comes down towards here towards the mammillary bodies this is you know, you know this is portion is called as a column of the fornix right this is the reference point and uh, you can also uh, say these are the mammillary bodies included in that so then uh, you see um, these nuclei on the medial zone following hypothalamic nuclei are identified these are also from anterior to posterior this is first of all is a pre optic nucleus part of that and then the suprachiasmatic nucleus part of that why the part of the some parts of these two uh, pre optic nucleus and the suprachiasmatic nucleus is lying in the lateral zone as well so the other nuclei here are the paraventricular nucleus right and then you see is this um, the dorso medial nucleus then this ventro medial nucleus then is this infundibular nucleus right so um, uh, these are the various nuclei you could read over here in this enlisted um, part pre optic nucleus but and the anterior nucleus not shown in the picture we showed you already this one and uh, part of the suprachiasmatic nucleus paraventricular nucleus dorsal medial and the ventral medial nuclei infundibular nucleus uh, which is arcuate nucleus and the other name the arcuate nucleus and the posterior nucleus now let's go to the lateral zone the following hypothalamic nuclei can be recognized in the lateral zone from anterior to posterior what are they so you see now this this is the you know this is the part of the preoptic nucleus one part is lying in the medial zone then the part of the suprachiasmatic nucleus or one part is lying in the uh, your medial zone this is a lateral zone this is yeah and uh, then is a uh, this supraoptic nucleus and lateral nucleus then is a lateral tuberal nucleus and tuberomammillary nucleus these are the various nuclei and this is the list one is the part of the preoptic nucleus second is a part of the suprachiasmatic nucleus the third one is a supraoptic nucleus and the fourth is the lateral nucleus and the fifth is the tuberomammillary nucleus and sixth and the last is a lateral tuberal nuclei here you have shown you all these in the picture we have spotted it so hypothalamic nuclei which are uh, overlapping uh, both zones medial and lateral these three one number one is the preoptic nucleus number two is the suprachiasmatic nucleus and number three is the mammillary nuclei so these are the various nuclei so that ends today's lecture uh, and i thank you very much in the next lecture we will discuss the connections and fibers of the uh, these um, uh, hypothalamic nuclei which is very important uh, and uh, tricky again uh, the second lecture 
so to my encouragement uh, please like my video and uh, spread it and subscribe my channel thank you very much goodbye